Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Julie from Happiness and Crafting So today I'm going to be making a mini snippet roll Because um, I wanted something just to go down the edge of my um, pages um, And this is normally the size of the snippet rolls that I make So they're quite big um, So I thought I would make a mini one now obviously you can use them as with anything um, and I think they would look really nice as well along the top of pockets so I'm just going to show you what it looks like this is our reference journal so let me just pop that there quickly now that would look just so pretty down the edge of a page and it's really really tiny um, this is obviously the normal size here like that um, and I think these would make a lovely page edge or even like on the top of a pocket um, I think they look really really pretty so I thought I would just mix it mini ones let me just get all these little bits out of the way and all as I've used I've used some old um, ribbon that came off some wrapping of some sort um, that I would never use on anything else and I've just used that to sew on the bits of fabric just like that so it's like these just like that um, so instead of throwing all these bits out you can use them um, you can hide them behind your work now if you don't I've used a sewing machine now if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't like to sew um, you can do it by hand or you can use if you get a fabric um, glue you can just glue these down I've glued the little roses down with some three in one but the rest of it I've actually sewn um, so they're really really simple now all I've got I've got my bunch of bits and pieces here and all as I've done is just scrap fabric you can make it with paper if you don't have any fabric um, use little bits of paper and do the same thing um, but this one I've just got little bits of fabric which I've actually cut even smaller um, and I'm going to just show you how I do it now these bits here are the sort of like base that I'm using and then I'm using all the other little coloured bits over the top so what I've done I'm sticking it down with some glue stick so just put a little bit of glue stick on your piece of ribbon that you're using this is just to hold it down before you sew it and I'm just taking little tiny pieces and sticking them on really really simple so just take all your little fabric snippy bits um, and stick them onto a piece of ribbon and I think it makes you can either call them sort of like ribbon snippets or mini snippets so um, I think they're really cute I like my little mini bits at the moment little mini embellishments because I think sometimes it making a big snippet roll is quite daunting especially if you're new to crafting or you're new to making things like this so making a lot like a little mini one is um, good practice I think um, and you can see how it comes out um, and then you'll be sort of like um, ready to make a nice big one so what I'm going to do is just stick these bits down I'll put one more piece on here just there like that because I think that bit's a bit sticky and then what I did, I just zigzag, zigzag stitched all the way through it, just like that. Um, and then I popped these bits on and then did a straight stitch um, through the whole thing, just down through the middle. So it's not a lot of stitching either. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on top of the ones that I've already sewn, just like that. And I'm just going to take little bits of fabric and stick them on top. And we've got a little bit of... Um, lace there which I can just stick down little odd bits that you've got I think this is a bit of seam binding there so just stick them on a little bit of colored fabric a little bit of pink so it's so simple um, just stick them all down have a little bit more glue what else have we got on here little bit of shiny there let's stick that on there we go just your odd little bits of fabric again like I said you can do it with paper um, so if you've got some nice um, 
pattern paper or your leftovers of um, some of the digital kits that you've been using that would work as well just stick a little bit more glue on there just like that okay so I'm just going to pop to the sewing machine and I'm just going to do it just like a running stitch all the way down through there so two seconds so there we are so I've just gone down through there with a zigzag stitch um, no with a running stitch and then I just did this bit with a zigzag stitch just to hold those little bits on so I'm just going to cut these little bits off here like that so I think this is looking so acute um, and that's it just tiny tiny little bits of fabric on there and let's just stick a little bit more on here let's just go right to the end just like that and again I use very all sort of like pinky bits um, in a lot of my work so that's why I've got sort of like pinky bits of fabric but again you do them in whatever colors you like this is more sort of like a shabby sheet but I do have some blues um, blue fabrics and stuff which I might do um, which I think would look really lovely let's have a little bit of lace here another piece there so this quick and simple to make so all as I've done then or once I've um, just added the fabric all I've done is add a few of my little embellishments here and of course it's the rose the rose embellishment the rose trim here so I just cut a few bits off but what I might do um, is just make a couple more of these but just leave them without embellishing them because then when you get to put them so they're just sort of like plain like this um, and then when you put them in your journals you can add an embellishment that actually goes with your journal um, so if you've got um, certain embellishments that you're making to go in your journal you can just add them to your to the snippet roll as well the mini snippet roll let me just see if I can get a little bit of glue out of here stick that down and then this will just hold it on just like that and I'll pop these little ones down here just on here just like that and I think that looks really pretty so you can have a lovely snippet roll little mini snippet roll in no time like that so I think they are really really lovely so there we go guys I thought I'd just share that with you um, so you can make little little ones so again it's not so daunting as trying to make a big one like this because um, this one you need to add a lot more things to it really but this one is just one little straight line that's down there and again I'll show you what it looks like on the page like this that just goes down the edge of your page and I think that looks just so so pretty just finishes off a journal lovely you could actually even pop it on um, the outside of a journal just on the edge just to edge it which would look really nice so lots of ideas um, so I'm going to carry on making this one finishing this on this one off and don't forget don't throw any of these bits of ribbon away because they always come in handy um, you don't have to see them in your projects because you don't see the back that's all black and untidy but you just don't see that bit which is the good thing so there we go guys get all your little bits of fabric out or again use paper um, and make yourself a lovely little snippet roll okay then guys thank you so much for joining me um, please stay safe take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time bye bye